They all live under one roof, millipedes, tarantulas, cockroaches, and more, in their own city of sorts, Insectropolis. They're so cool and they can like crawl around and they're like little, they're like little and they can fly and stuff. Bugs rule the world, so there's really no avoiding them, so you're, you're going to see them. The museum, an insect learning center in Tom's River, has hundreds of live bugs and thousands of pinned specimens, like these butterflies and beetles. Bug keeper Jesse Herdman wants people to have a greater appreciation for these creatures. I feel like they're misunderstood and that the more people learn about these bugs, the less scary they become. There are over 40 different species of tarantulas here. The spider isn't actually an insect, neither is this millipede. The name is Archispyra streptis gigas. That's quite a name. <laughs> uh, they couldn't just call him John? <laughs> <laughs> we call ours Pepper. It's the African giant millipede, AGBs, and uh, it's the largest millipede in the world. They can be a foot long. Here we feed them fresh veggies. They're on a raw vegan diet. Nearly all the residents here are arthropods. Most of the animals on this planet are some sort of arthropod. An arthropod is uh, an animal with segmented legs, uh, segmented bodies, and um, a hard outer shell called the exoskeleton. Which the animals shed as it grows. It's called molting, says Jesse. Not far from the spiders are the busy bees. Bees are pollinators and all across the country there are orchards and giant farms, you know, big agricultural operations that rely on bees so they have to pollinate their crops. If all the bees disappeared overnight, we would uh, likely run out of food. This is the museum's observation hive. The bees are the only tenants here that aren't fed regularly. They forage for food, they find their own food, they take care of themselves, they built the honeycomb, uh, the queen lays all the eggs, we don't really have to do much. Best house guest, huh? Yeah, yeah, they really do take care of themselves. Jesse's favorite thing about the bugs? Even observing them indoors in a contained environment, you can still see raw nature, you can see their instincts. He's hoping people see a living animal and stop getting bugged by bugs. In Tom's River, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.